have the my pump here that I've made. I have wire cables that I'm going to use. Gotta be careful, these are dangerous. These are going to hook on to the pump here like this. And then I put a clamp on, like one of these cool little clamps. See if I can do this. So that then this is like this. The clamp goes like this. This goes across like that. called wire rope clamps and they're really great for doing cable and spin these on here this almost feels like a cooking show except it's not cooking it's clamping clamping with Chris so we get these guys in here pretty good like that see then we end up with a loop like that and these are merely little wire clamps and then at the end of this wire I will put a loop in it and another clamp so by doing this I can see how far down below the boat that I hang this pump and then with this little hook on the end of this I will connect to these which is a little bracket that will hook to the, I'm going to screw it onto the deck of the boat. And I'll have two of them. This pump will hang, suspend below the pontoon boat, which is frozen solid. Punch a hole through the ice to get this in. So I only have to get something in that this will fit. And then this is where the water shoots out. And if that doesn't work, I have this, which is a piece of pipe, this is the cap, and then I'm going to drill holes in this so then the water, when it shoots out, it will shoot sideways instead of just one gusher going up. Because I'm afraid I'll put it on the boat, under the boat it shoots a hole in the ice and then the water's just shooting up like that, freezes, no good. We're going to put this right in here, and oh no, oh yes. Okay, it seems that I have bought the wrong size pipe. This is three quarter inch and this pipe is one is one inch. So this plan, although would be great, it can't be done now. So we're going to have to go to plan B. Well, just thought I'd show you how we finished up with this. Took a piece of fishing line, and oh, we caught a reel, and a fishing reel with a weight, stuck that down and decided that that was how long, how deep it was. So by using this as a measuring stick, I attached this cable here with the clamp, and then made this this long, shortened it up so it was the right depth according to this, and look what up, we have two. Tighten them down, wrap some tape around there so I wouldn't get spiked by the end of the wire. We're ready to hook on the dock. But I think we ought to test it first. Maybe I should have done that, but so, I'm going to plug it in. Let's see what happens. Oops. Well, lesson learned. Maybe we should have tested the pump first before we spent all this time putting it together. That's the, this latest edition of Clamping with Chris.